Myanmar's military has been celebrating Army Day with a promise to deal decisively with what it says are acts of terror. That's a reference to the ongoing uprising against the military regime after the generals seized power from Aung San Suu Kyi's civilian-led administration two years ago. The regime says it will end the state of emergency and hold free and fair elections, but only once it establishes what it describes as stability. Our correspondent Jonathan Head has been given rare access to Myanmar and sent this update from the capital, Naypyidaw. Well, this pageant has been going on since dawn. It's been colourful, extravagant, sometimes comical, but it does send a serious and sinister message. I mean, all the Russian and Chinese supplied hardware that they've been showing to us and that's been flying overhead has been used increasingly to crush opposition to the military regime. And the man who's been presiding over this ceremony, the coup leader, General Min Ong Lain, wants the world and his own people to know that his army is strong that he won't stop whatever the cost. Now we do know that less than 50 kilometers away behind the hills over there, there is still serious fighting. There have been reports of massacres. The soldiers who've been parading here have been accused of unspeakable atrocities, of war crimes, of setting their country back decades by seizing power. And yet here in their citadel, inside the capital, their fortified citadel, they remain defiant, unyielding, and confident that with brute force and enough time, they will be able to cement their regime.